Zdrav! Hello, Andy here. How are you? Let's talk about the Interslavic language. Međuslovjanski jezik Interslavic is a pan-Slavic auxiliary language. Its purpose is to facilitate communication between speakers of various Slavic languages, as well as to allow people who do not speak a Slavic language to communicate with Slavic speakers by being mutually intelligible with most, if not all, Slavic languages. For Slavs and non-Slavs, it can fulfill an educational role as well. Inter-Slavic can be classified as a semi-constructed language. It is essentially a modern continuation of Old Church Slavonic, but also draws on the various improvised language forms Slavs have been using for centuries to communicate with Slavs of other nationalities. For example, in multi-Slavic environments and on the internet, providing them with a scientific base. Thus, both grammar and vocabulary are based on the commonalities between the Slavic languages, and non-Slavic elements are avoided. Its main focus lies on instant understandability rather than easy learning, a balance typical for naturalistic as opposed to schematic languages. The Inter-Slavic project began in 2006 under the name Slovyansky, in 2011, Slovyansky underwent a thorough reform and merged with two other projects, with the results called Interslavic, a name that was first proposed by the Czech Ignaz Hoshek in 1908. As with the languages of the Slavic language family, Interslavic is generally written using either Latin or Cyrillic letters, or on rare occasions, the Glagolithic script. In the next part, let's listen to the beautiful sounds of their language. Numbers Yedin, Dva, Tri, Chetiri, Pet, Shist, Sidm, Usum, Devet, Deset. Greetings and phrases Zdrav, Ahoy, Dobro Jutro, Dobri Den, Zdar, Dobri Becher, Kako se imaš, Ili imate, Kako je si, Ili jeste. Da, ne, prošu, izvinite, očvitno. Kde ideš, kako se imenuješ, ili imenujete, kako je tvoje, ili vaše ime. Dekuju, blagodariju, havala, dekuju velmi, velika havala. Ciao, do vidzenja, z Bogom. Vocabulary Červené, oranžové, žlté, zelené, síní, fioletové, černé, bělé, spalíňa, kuchňa, kupalíňa, garáž, bagáž, oděž, garderoba, sad, buda, peč, kotel, tosta, směšajúča mašina, pralna, Machina, chladilnik, ventilator, computer, printer, telefon, kluči, stůl, stůl, leziště, zasuvka, pisalny stůl, umyvalnik, podloka, světilka, polica, zubna štětka, zubna pasta, portmone. Kreditna karta, pieneze, duš, zagladečča doška, sjekuća doska, šafa, konsola, televizor, sok, kava, čaj, mlijeko, sirup, voda, vino, pivo, energetične napoj, kolbasa, maslo, Chlieb, jajca, cukr, sol, meso, ryba, pizza, tost, kasza, czekolada, jagoda, jabloko, syr, siuntka, tort, supa, banan, grusza, kartofeli, pomfritki, limon, grozdila. Grapefruit, maline, ugorok, mrkva, pomidor, siliva, pomarancha, 
Cibulia, Glava, Shia, Litse, Vlasy, Uchu, Oko, Nos, Usta, Noga i Kolieno, Ruka, Glezeni, Stopa, Prst, Velike, Palec, Zapestie, Grlo, Koža, Smog, Želutok, Pečeni, Malo čirevo, veliko čirevo, piluče, srce, kost. The Lord's Prayer Oče naš, ktorý je si v nebesách, nechaj sveti se ime Tvoje, nechaj príjde krejstvo Tvoje, nechaj bude volia Tvoja, kako v nebu, tako i na zemi. Chlieb nas vysaku den daj nám dnes. I pusti nam naše grechy, tako kako my upaščajemo našim grešnikam. I ne vezdi nas v pokašenji, ale izbavej nas od zlogo. I po tvoje je krajestvo i moč i slava na vjeki vjekov. Amin. Sample text. V mnogih mestah v Gitaju su bili hrame drakonovogo kraja. Počas časov suši by ľudí modlí se, aby drakonový kraj dal človeckomu svetu dožď. V toj chvíli byl drakon symbol nad príhodnogo stvora. On je se stal pozdne priedok najvyšších vledárev i je symbolizoval absolútnu vlast chvíldalnogo imperatora. Imperator je tvrdil byti syn drakona. Vse jego personalne posjedanja su nosili ime drakon i bili ukrasjeni s raznimi figurami drakona. Ukrasjenja drakona u Kitaju i legenda tučas mogu vizkede vidjenje o kolorovanju od drakonov.